This is Witchbase News for Friday the 13th of August 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...the AXI's NHSS hunting analysis ...there's a new discord to help find yourself a squadron Soteria Accord wants you to bring it all the alcohol and Frontier updates on development progress in this weeks Super Cruise news. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe ...remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. The galaxy's largest xeno hunting community the Anti Xeno Initiative recently concluded a study into the nature of the non-human signal sources that harbour the interstellar violence vegetables and made a significant discovery that had been hiding in plain sight. I've linked to the AXI's full report below but in essence it seems that where specifically a non-human signal source sits on the full spectrum scanner will determine the content of that signal source. The further to the left of the zone that the signal sits and it will contain mainly scout class craft and further to the right more likely the signal is to harbour either scouts and interceptors or just interceptors. As best the AXI can determine this has always been the case in the game but the player base has only just noticed and only then after extensive research and testing from the AXI in particular Commander Mechan and Commander Zarian. Congratulations to all involved in what will no doubt be a very useful discovery for those out hunting the murderous horticultural horror stories in the deep black. There's a new community discord server that aims to help you find a squadron. Elite Dangerous is, in my humble opinion, best enjoyed with a group of like minded friends. The squadron recruitment system in the game will let you search for squadrons and then filter by gameplay style and geographical time zones etc but it doesn't let you meet and greet the individuals in that squadron before you join. The Squadron Recruitment Center Discord fills that gap by giving any squadrons that access it not only their own channel but also channels to advertise community wide events as well as their own recruitment promos. All these tools have the advantage of letting any potential new recruits to a squadron check out the vibe in that given squadron before they submit their application to join to ensure that it's a good fit for all concerned. To get you started you'll find a link in the video description. The Soteria Accord in game player minor faction of the Twitch streamer, serial podcaster, friend of the channel and all round good egg Psykit has issued a new racing challenge to the community this week. From now up until the 22nd of August the Accord is asking for deliveries of a selection of rare alcoholic beverages from around the bubble to be delivered to the HIP 110248 system. The event features two ship classes, a fully engineered small ship or a standardised hauler build and to be in with a chance of topping the leaderboards you'll need to provide photographic evidence of your time. The race doesn't mind what platform or version of Elite Dangerous you're playing so it's open to Odyssey, Horizons, PC and consoles alike and the full details of how to get involved in the event are linked as always in the video description. Frontiers Super Cruise News livestream this week dropped some details about ongoing development on the game and also revealed a new development report that it's hoped will keep the community better informed about progress on the games ongoing fixes and additions. Community managers Zach and Bruce started the livestream on Tuesday this week by talking about and revealing some work in progress screenshots of the new Apex Shuttle in flight redirect feature that is currently scheduled for the forthcoming update 7 to Odyssey. For the uninitiated once you board one of the new Apex Shuttle flights in Elite Dangerous Odyssey you are 
as things stand locked into that flight in real time. So for example if you accidentally book a flight to Hutton Orbital in the Alpha Centauri system then that's 6,784,404 light seconds in supercruise. That's your entire game for about 30 to 40 minutes or so and there's nothing you can do about it. The new redirect feature will allow you to interrupt that flight and choose a new destination either locally or long distance in a similar fashion to how the system works for the network of interstellar space ubers now. As I mentioned as things stand right now the addition is scheduled for update 7 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey and update 7 itself is due to arrive sometime next month but that wasn't the only reveal for the livestream. The team then announced what they're calling the Elite Dangerous Issue Report. In essence the report which can be found on the forums lists the top 20 issues with the game that have been voted on by commanders via the issue tracker system and gives a status on that issue for example under investigation, fixed or in progress etc and a planned delivery window for the related fix or update. The team were keen to point out that the new issue report is currently just in its first iteration so it's likely it can have features added to it as player feedback comes in. Indeed during the livestream YouTuber Down to Earth Astronomy suggested in the live chat that clickable links to the issues themselves in the tracker would be a useful addition and the team took that on board and suggested that it could be added to a future version. Also it's worth noting that whilst an issue might be shown as fixed in the tracker that doesn't mean that FDEV are no longer taking feedback for that issue. Indeed community manager Sally confirmed elsewhere after the livestream that lighting in the game whilst it's shown as fixed in the tracker is still being investigated. Lighting being a big issue overall that, quite literally, affects everything you see in the game. There's no firm word on when and how often the report will be updated but Zach did mention speaking about the report on Super Cruise News specifically which would put it on a bi-weekly schedule at the very least. As I've mentioned Frontier did promise to instigate a policy of more open and honest communication and whilst we welcomed that promise here at the pit it was always with the caveat that the proof of the pudding would very much be in the eating. This new issue report as well as the other steps the team has taken such as a larger forum presence and the monthly developer updates have certainly gone a long way to fulfilling that promise and we look forward to seeing this trend continue. What are your thoughts on the new issue report from Frontier? Is your faith in the company's communication restored yet and if not what else would you like to see? What are you up to in the game at the moment? Are you indulging in this weeks community goal or will you be perhaps delivering copious amounts of alcohol to a waiting and apparently very thirsty Commander Psykit? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.